Today, we're going to discuss um, an introduction to apprenticeships and how they work and go through some basic questions that you may have about them. My name is Casey Anderson and my colleague Harpreet Williams, who is here with me, is um, an employer and accounts officer and we both work at the Isle of Wight College. So an apprenticeship, what is an apprenticeship? It's an opportunity to gain a real job with training. So you're earning money whilst you're learning. Apprenticeship programmes have been designed by employers and that enables the apprentices to gain the technical and the professional knowledge that they need to do the job, but with the real practical experience as well. So along with the functional and the personal skills that are required for that job, and if that's your chosen career path. Apprenticeships are a combination of workplace learning and formal training. So you will be in the workplace environment, say, for four days a week. One day you'll be in college, so you'll be learning other types of skills whilst you're with us here in the classroom. It provides an opportunity for the practical work and it also embeds new knowledge, skills and behaviours in the environments that you're working in, whether that be in the environment where you're normally working or in our college environment. Apprenticeships are open to all learners age 16 and above. There is no per age limit so anybody over the age of 16 can become an apprentice at pretty much any point during their working careers as long as obviously that you meet the eligibility criteria for the funding and we also now offer the higher apprenticeships as well so up to degree level and beyond here at the college we offer them right from level two all the way up to fives and sixes now the benefits of doing an apprenticeship, you can start most of our courses at any time of the year. So it's not always a September start with us. You get to earn a salary. You get the training and the skills that the employers want in that sector, rather than a choice of things that you may be able to use um, to do that job. Excellent career progressions. Um, so you can um, start off as a um, normal team member and you can look to progress up to maybe a team leader or a manager in the future. Um, but that's whether you want to study further or if you want to just go up the ranks within that workplace environment. Increase future earning potential. So obviously, as you gain the knowledge, the skills and the behaviours for the roles, you will also grow with your earnings income. The more knowledge and skills that you possess, the higher value you can earn. You learn at a pace that's suited to the individuals with the support of a mentor. So we'll work alongside you. Um, you'll have a mentor in the workplace environment that will help support you with day to day things, teach you skills that you may need, as well as offer any advice and guidance to help you further yourself. You'll get paid holiday so you can take a week's annual leave to spend with your family, your friends or doing something you like and you will still be paid for it so you won't lose out on any income. And it's now actually a really viable alternative to university and especially in the current climate where there's uncertainty, it offers a real good option for people that maybe were also thinking about university but are having um, some maybe doubts about it or are looking for an alternative way to get to where they want to be. Yeah. Just to also add in there, so at the moment, the apprenticeship national minimum wage is £4.15 an hour, and this will uh, this usually increases every April. So as an apprentice, you're guaranteed to earn that, earn that minimum wage in the first year. Um, some employers do choose to pay more than that. In the second year, the wage would increase according to your age. So like Katie said, there's uh, absolutely uh, every chance to um, increase your wage as your skills and, and knowledge increase uh, within the working environment. And actually, we should also probably mention that it, as it is an apprenticeship, um, the hours that you can be expected to work are between 30 and 40 hours a week. So it is, in essence, a full time role that you will be working within. Um, and as we say, generally, most of our courses are you will spend four days in that workplace environment and one day with us. Um, again, it's down to the individual business. Um, some may do 30 hours, some may do 35 some may do 40. So it really does depend on the sector that you're looking to go into and that employer that we work with at the time. So the apprenticeship levels that we offer, as I said before, we offer quite a wide range um, of levels. So really, um, there's the three kind of levels that they sit within. So intermediate, uh, which is generally a level two um, or an entry level for most occupations. And the reason that's entry level for most occupations is because a lot of the time people don't have the skills that are needed for that job. So you learn the skills with the level two, which means then you can progress onto the advanced level, which is the level three. So you'll have some knowledge 
Um, but you can still build upon that. So it gives you the basics for the role that you're doing, but actually you can keep moving forward and keep going up the levels. And some of them are, um, most industries will start at a level two because of the sector that they're based within there's only a few that will start at a level three um, and for that people tend to look for a little bit more of experience um, it may be work experience it may be things that you've been doing in your own personal life as a volunteer or if you've been working with different people for other things as well to gain a little bit of experience not necessarily paid employment but again experience and exposure to those kind of situations and then that leads us nicely onto the higher apprenticeship. So they are anything which is at a level four or above. So um, we offer quite a wide range. We offer project management at a level four. We offer uh, management. So again, a progression, you'd start at a two, maybe work your way to level three team leader and then progress up to the level five manager. So quite a wide range there as well. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Katie. I will request control now. <clears throat> Um, so, yeah, as Katie introduced us in the beginning, my name is Harper. So I also work alongside uh, Katie in the apprenticeships team uh, as an employer accounts officer to support um, uh, businesses to recruit apprentices and also to support um, individuals to find apprenticeship opportunities. So the types of apprenticeships that we offer here at the Isle of Wight College, we've got uh, the widest variety of apprenticeships on the Isle of Wight. So we offer business administration. That comes at level three. Uh, we offer customer service, which comes in at levels two and three. So that's intermediate and advanced. Uh, construction is one of our really popular um, apprenticeships. So within construction, we offer carpentry, uh, painting and decorating and brick. So if you find yourself being quite a practical, hands-on person, <clears throat> that could be the um, you know perfect uh, apprenticeship route for yourself. Engineering. So we have our engineering centre over in East Cows, uh, which is CCAM. So all of our engineering apprenticeships uh, are delivered uh, through our CCAM centre and we offer mechanical, uh, electronic, uh, marine, boat building. So we've got a wide variety of apprenticeships uh, available within engineering. Childcare, so that um, covers uh, working with uh, children, uh, early years educator, also working as a teaching assistant as well. Uh, supporting teaching and learning in schools, uh, hospitality. So if you ever fancied becoming a chef or working front of house, uh, that could be the um, the ideal apprenticeship for yourself. Um, we also offer hairdressing apprenticeships. They come in at level two and level three. Project management. So that's our higher level apprenticeship at level four. So with this particular one, it could be something that you may well progress on to after doing perhaps an intermediate um, apprenticeship, uh, say in business administration or another area. Um, or like Katie explained, it could be something that you would come into um, at, that, at, at the time that it was um, right for yourself basically so the, the the employer if they were looking for a project management apprentices will be looking for someone with quite a wide a vast variety of work experience before looking to recruit that person on uh, human resources so we offer this friendship at level three uh, advanced and level five as well so higher level animal care uh, horticulture um, automotive so motor vehicle apprenticeship um, Electrical, uh, plumbing and heating, uh, health and social care. Again, they come at different levels here. Team leading management apprenticeships. Uh, so this is a ideal apprenticeship to perhaps progress on to once you've uh, been working uh, within an organisation. Uh, accounting. So that comes in at levels uh, two, three and four. Uh, IT and then also marketing, which comes in at level three. So as you can see, we've got a vast variety uh, of apprenticeships that we offer here at the college. Oops. So how is an apprenticeship delivered? So most of the practical training takes place uh, within the workplace. Um, so as we explained, you'd be working usually with the employer uh, for up to four days a week. And then usually it would be uh, one day a week at college, depending on which apprenticeship uh, you'd secured. Um, so you'd be working under the supervision of a mentor. Um, so that would usually be your line manager um, who would then help you and train you to learn the job specific skills that are required within the role. Practical assessments are undertaken and carried out on a regular basis uh, throughout the duration of the apprenticeship. 
Now, um, with duration for an apprenticeship, so how long does an apprenticeship take? It all depends on uh, the sector, so the area that you're studying the apprenticeship in uh, and the level of the um, qualification, so the level of the apprenticeship. So an apprenticeship can take between one to five years to complete. So our intermediate level apprenticeships, for example, customer service uh, can take between 12 to 18 months. And then if we're looking at our higher level apprenticeships, uh, for example, in engineering, you're looking at around about four years. OK, so assessments. Each apprentice is allocated an assessor. Uh, so the assessor's primary role is to monitor and support learner progress. Uh, so they would come out and see you in the workplace on a regular basis, uh, support you in building your portfolio of evidence uh, and supporting you throughout to get to the stage you need to be and to get all the skills, uh, knowledge and behaviour required. Um, they'll also ensure the programme is being delivered effectively. So they're your main point of contact uh, from, from the college. Uh, they would carry out reviews with you regularly in the workplace. So it's usually once every six to 12 weeks, depending again on, on the apprenticeship and the level. And action plans are agreed as required um, through consultation and input from employers. So your line manager, your mentor in the workplace would uh, always be involved within the review process. So they're fully uh, aware of the progress you're making and, and indeed any support they may need to provide you to make sure that you're able to uh, meet the criteria that's required within the apprenticeship, whether that be they set you a specific uh, task to complete and uh, any other knowledge and skills you might need. So how to apply. So uh, as we explained, apprenticeships can start at any time of the year usually, uh, and you can apply from our exciting range of apprenticeships uh, at the college uh, through a variety of methods, which we'll go through. Um, if you apply, uh, for example, and uh, you come to us with an employer, with a business that would like recruit you as an apprentice uh, we'll invite you into the college uh, for an interview and assessment and we can then support that business that employer to uh, complete the necessary steps that ne they need to do uh, to enable you to start as an apprentice with them it's also worth mentioning here that as an apprentice uh, you will be um, provided with a contract of employment so you are, are an employer uh, with that business um, if you don't yet have an employer, you'll be invited to attend an assessment session and then be given advice and guidance uh, on how to uh, secure employment. We provide guidance with um, CV and cover letter writing as well. So we can then support you to make sure your CV and cover letter really stand out to employers because uh, we can support. We know what types of things they're looking for. So, yeah, we offer guidance and support in that all the time. Um, so you can apply online for um our apprenticeship vacancies through our college website. So it's www.iwcollege.ac.uk and you go onto the apprenticeship section, uh, which will then let you know of the vacancies that we have available at that time. Um, all these links will be provided to you at the end as well, just to let you know. Um, you can also search and apply for vacancies through the Isle of Wight uh, jobs website, which is www.isleofwightjobs.com. It takes uh, 20 minutes or so to create a profile for yourself through here. And then you can click the areas that you're interested in hearing about vacancies in, so whether that be engineering, construction or hairdressing. And then any time a vacancy does come up, you'll be alerted so you can go in and then apply for the vacancy. So apprenticeship vacancies do come up all, all year round. We find that springtime is usually uh, the time that employers are uh, really keen to start um, advertising uh, for roles within their businesses should also probably mention that it's really good if you've got a CV and covering letter that you can tailor to those individual businesses as well. So it's really good to have kind of um, a basic overview one that you can use. But I'd also say that if you're going to apply for vacancies and that's the area that you're interested in, do a little bit of research on that business so that when you're applying with your covering letter, you can show them that you are keen on their business. You understand what they do and you understand how they operate or what their values are as an employer it shows really good knowledge and actually that you've taken time to take the effort to to research them to know a little bit more about them rather than a generalized one that says that you're looking to apply for a job within their business but not maybe selling yourself in such a way that would stand you out from others that are applying yeah absolutely <clears throat> um, it's also um, worth saying as well that you can, if you need any tips and guidance on it, send it to us before you possibly make an application and then we can help you tweak it to uh, uh, make sure, again, it stands out. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, so keeping your options open. So 
If you've not yet found uh, an employer or business that may wish to, you know, is looking to recruit apprentices um, or there isn't a, an apprenticeship vacancy available at the time that you're um, looking uh, uh, for one, we recommend, we highly recommend that you consider applying for a full time uh, course here at the Isle of Wight College. Um, at the same time um, that you might apply for an apprenticeship opportunity, it's always good to have a backup plan. So if you were not successful for an apprenticeship at that time, then you've got the um, the plan to join the full time course. So many of the full time programmes we offer uh, include similar qualifications to those offered in our apprenticeships. Uh, plus, they also include relevant work placements. So as a um, uh, completing a full time course, you, you will have the opportunity to go out and work in the industry and be offered work placements alongside the course. And quite often we find that a work experience opportunity may well lead to an apprenticeship opportunity being offered um, if the work experience goes well. So it's not to say that if you start a course and then an, oppor uh, an apprenticeship opportunity comes up um, halfway through the course, we are able to to transfer you onto an apprenticeship, which we find is um, one of the more popular ways that um, employers uh, sometimes look to recruit apprentices when they've completed a work experience uh, placement with them. Uh, so, yes, we said that it's not uncommon for full time learners to progress uh, onto an apprenticeship. And we work closely with all of our curriculum areas here at the college um, to uh, so that we know what opportunities are being uh, are available and when. I should also say as well that um, because we do work so closely with our curriculum areas, whenever we do get a um, vacancy for an employer within a certain sector, we will also um, send that over to the curriculum areas so that they can advertise it to the students. More because obviously the, the students um, won't always have access to, to the information that we do, um, but also because sometimes whilst people attend college and they they join for the reason of learning and that they find that their way of learning or their style of learning is better placed in a workplace environment um, and they learn that throughout their course sometimes they don't always know that um, so they also it might be that their workplace is not able to offer an opportunity for them to move into an apprenticeship but we do work with other employers within those sectors that can then offer that as an opportunity for our full-time students as well yep Perfect. Okay, so our final uh, slide for uh, this session is uh, so where to find apprenticeships. So to summarise and how to apply. So we would really encourage you to register your interest on to the below websites you see there. So the Isle of Wight Jobs uh, dot com website, um, which. Uh, like we said, if you uh, register your interest in the areas you're interested in, you will need a CV and a cover letter uh, to upload onto there. So an up to date CV, like we said, is really important and making sure you tweak your cover letter to really uh, talk about the opportunity, the, the job role that you're applying for. Um, so, yeah, that's the Isle of Wight Jobs dot com website and you can apply directly through there for any apprenticeship vacancies. And then uh, you will also see our college website there as well, which uh, links onto the Isle of Wight Jobs website and you can uh, apply for uh, opportunities through there as well. If you have any further questions, um, please drop us an email on apprenticeships at iwcollege.ac.uk. If you feel that we've um, there's something that you'd uh, like to, to inquire or find out more about um, or any general support and advice and guidance we can give about apprenticeships please don't hesitate to get in touch with us uh, at any time any time of the year and our telephone number for the apprenticeships department is listed here as well so you can call us at any time on 01983 550808 and just to also note that we do have open days throughout the year, whether that's at the start of the, the new academic year, whether that's kind of after Christmas um, or whether that is part way through as you're thinking about your next stages before your GCSEs kind of start. Um, keep an eye on our website because all of our information is on there. We're on social media. So we're on Twitter. We're on uh, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, we're on Facebook. So all of our events, anything that we're offering or anything new that we're offering will always be posted on there and on our website. So it's always really handy just to keep checking in just to see if there's anything else that we're offering or we're up to. Um, I know that we've got normally um, an open date in January, one That's in right. April and I think one in June as well. Um, and we have one in November normally as well. But for the exact dates, keep an eye on the uh, websites and social medias. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Right. Thank you very much for your time. And we hope to be able to speak to some of you soon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.